Hi, it's Rene with Benchmark, and what I want to show you today is how to do a one-point localization. So I just shot this uh, point in, in UTM coordinates. I have a basin rover set up. I'm using microsurvey Field Genius, and I have a Hemisphere S321 Plus on the rover pole. And what I want to do is I want this point to be 10,000, 10,100 coordinates. So I want to do a one-point localization, so it's really easy to do in Field Genius. All you have to do is hit the Plumbob screen, go under Survey Tools, hit GNSS Transformation, and then you want to do Modify Control, add a control point. Uh, so I, I want to select uh, a point. The point that I'm selected on is 100. I want to hit Select. So there you can see that I have my coordinates, 1,000, 10,000, 10,100, and then I want to select an existing shot that I just shot, and I want it, that's point 10. So I'm going to select point 10, that's in UTM coordinates, hit select, and I'm going to hit OK, and then I'm going to hit OK again, and then I'm going to hit um, adjust survey points. And I hit yes, and then I'm going to go back, and check to see if it worked and it did so if I level up on this point I'm right where I want to be so if you would like to do a two-point localization or a four-point localization you use the exact same workflow you just keep adding points to it if you add, if you want to do a two-point localization, I would turn one of the vertical components off and only hold vertical on one or more, uh, so you don't create an inclined plane for no for no good reason. And uh, if you want any more tips and tricks on RTK using Microsurvey Field Genius or the Hemisphere Street 21 Plus, visit us on our YouTube channel for more helpful videos. Thanks, and I hope you're surveying and having a great day.